This video will demonstrate two ways to dispense mica products from an IBC tote. The first method we will show you is how to dispense product from the tap outlet or feed. Based on customer experience, we have found that this is the most effective way to dispense from our totes. To use this method, you will need a drum plug wrench, a diaphragm pump, two inch adapter with a hose barb, a nut or screwdriver, an air compressor, a receptacle to dispense products into, and personal protective equipment. Please consult the safety data sheet for the mica product you are planning to dispense to determine which personal protective equipment you need. Mica Corporation can provide the pump, dispensing hose, feed hose, and adapter for a fee. For more information, contact your mica technical sales representative, fill out the information request form on our website, or call us at 203-922-8888. To get started, remove the cardboard and the plastic covering from the tote. Next, use a drum plug wrench to loosen the cap on the interior pouch or bladder of the tote. Grab your diaphragm pump and loosen the hose clamp with a flathead screwdriver or a nut driver. Connect the adapter to the top dispensing outlet on the bladder and tighten by hand. Using your screwdriver, retighten the hose clamp, and if it isn't already, connect compressed air to the diaphragm pump. At this time, make sure the dispensing hose is directed into the receptacle of your choice. Turn the pump on to start dispensing. Turning off the pump will not always stop the flow of product right away. In order to abruptly stop dispensing, pull up on the hose that's connected to the bladder. This will break the siphoning effect and will allow you to detach the pump from the tote without wasting product or creating a mess. If you are dispensing product from a tote that has been partially used, remove the cap and adjust the bladder so that the product is evenly distributed at the bottom. Attach the pump to the bladder by hand tightening the adapter, and if you haven't done so yet, attach the compressed air. Make sure the outlet where the dispensing hose is connected is in contact with the product and turn the pump on. Adjust the bladder and hose as frequently as you need to in order to get an even flow of product and get the majority of the product out of the tote. The second method we will show you is how to dispense from the bottom feed or outlet. If you choose this method, it is important to follow the instructions carefully to maximize efficiency and minimize leaks. You will need a drum plug wrench, a valve with a piercing device, a receptacle to dispense product into, and personal protective equipment. Please consult the safety data sheet for the mica product you are planning to dispense to determine which personal protective equipment you need. Mica Corporation is happy to provide you with the valve and piercing device. To request one or get more information, contact your mica technical sales representative, fill out the information request form on our website, or call us at 203-922-8888. To get started, Take the cap off of the bottom outlet with a drum plug wrench. Before going any further, inspect the valve adapter to be sure that the threads are clean and intact. Inspect the gasket for cleanliness and integrity as well. Screw the valve into the bottom outlet carefully to avoid cross-threading, and tighten the valve by hand. Do not use any tools to tighten the valve. Make sure the valve is in the open position and the piercer is fully retracted. Place a receptacle underneath the bottom outlet and in one slow, smooth motion, push the piercer through the valve and into the tote until it stops. Pull the piercer back out. Close the valve. Unscrew the piercer carefully and the valve is now ready to dispense. Thanks for watching. If you need further assistance or would like to request a valve or pump, contact your MICA technical sales representative, call us at 203-922-8888, or fill out the information request form on our website, www.mica-corp.com.
Before you leave our site, sign up for our quarterly newsletter to get helpful videos and other tips delivered right to your inbox.